Mother's Day, everyone. I'm here with Daniel. I roped him into working out with me so we could do a video to show family fitness on Mother's Day. This is his Mother's Day gift to me. So, gather your children around. If you want to do some fitness together, this is a perfect way to do it. I've asked Daniel to show some modifications because, of course, you always want to make sure your children have good form. So, Daniel will do some of the more advanced variations with me and also show some modifications. So, what we're going to do is 30 seconds of work. 10 seconds of break in between, and then it'll probably take anywhere from, I don't know, six to eight minutes, depending on how much we decide to do. So follow along with us. The first thing we're gonna do is a plank sit up. So Daniel's gonna get in a plank and hold my feet. So come on down, Daniel. And then if you line your feet up, and then he's gonna hold my feet. So get into your full plank, and then I can move. Okay, so we're gonna set this for 30 seconds. Still need more? Okay, way more. Okay. We're getting set up. You can get set up at home. So Dale's in a nice plank, nice flat back. So 30 seconds, I'm going to come up in a full sit up and touch his shoulders. I'm going to exhale as I come up. Breathe. Now, if any time Daniel starts to lose form, he's going to come down on his knees. And that's what I'd like you to do with your child. Make sure they're on their knees if they're not, if they can't quite get up on their toes yet. So breathe. Exhale. Excellent. So each time you come up, you want to exhale, come down and then touch your child's shoulders or your partner's or whoever's helping you. So we're going for, oh, excellent. So we got a 10 second break. Now we're going to switch. So I'll come into plank and Daniel's going to do sit ups. You probably have to go back to our guide in. Okay. So come on up. So he can make it a, just like he's doing without touching my shoulders. Breathe. So he's exhaling each time he comes up, making sure that he uses his abdominal muscles and not his hip flexors to help him come up or go into his lower back. So that's exactly what you want to be watching as your child is doing their sit-ups. Good. And don't forget to exhale each time you come up. You as the adult here, or whoever's throwing this plank, let's make sure your back is straight. You're pressing through your heels. Excellent. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is a squat. I'm going to be in a squat. Now I've asked Daniel to do, um, he's going to march, as, and then when I do it, I'll do high knees. So I'm in a low squat. Daniel's going to come up. He, don't come towards me. Um, so I'm holding this here. He's holding it there. Keep, don't come towards me. Let me sit back. See, I'm trying to get my butt down. Hands lifted out so he can lift up and touch my hands. So keep breathing and keep moving. Excellent. Good. So I'm keeping my butt down low. Eye gaze up. Abs engaged. Great job. Okay, we got 10 seconds break. Now we're going to switch. Daniel's going to get in his plank, and I'm going to do high knees, my knees touching his hands. So you get in your squat, lower, good. Now, he's going to hold it, you got to sit your hips back and down, and then I'm just going to show you here, this is a good form thing. So you got to keep your feet down and sit back, so we don't want his toes to come up, and he wants to sit back, and he's trying to sit in a little kindergarten chair. Good. Keep breathing, keep holding. And you want to keep your heels down and your knees tracking your toes. So this right foot needs to straighten up. Good, and sit back. Good, good, nice job. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is come down and Daniel and I are going to, I forget what we're going to do. Oh yeah, get on the plank, Daniel. Another plank, get on the plank. Okay, so I'm going to jump up and over his feet like this, jump. And then we're going to switch. So Daniel wants to line up his elbows right underneath his shoulders. Breathe. Now another alternative is to do it this way too. If you can't quite get up and over their heels with a double jump, do those single jumps. Good. Then soften the balls of your feet. Good. Keep your back flat if you're doing that. No, didn't speak, did it? Yeah, Oh, I missed it. Okay. Let's switch. All right, now Daniel's going to jump over mine. My back is flat. Good. Breathe. Up and over. Good. Keep breathing. Nice job. So my elbows are lined up right underneath. I'm underneath my shoulders. Back is flat. I'm engaging my quads. Daniel's jumping up and over. Good. He can also do singles legs if he wants to. He doesn't want to do double. Great. Good job. Keep it up. You can hear our heart rate gets up here. We're breathing. My eye gaze should be at the top of my mat or at my fingertips. Good. All right, take a break. Now, the last thing that we're going to do together is Daniel's going to do high knees. Again, I've asked him to march. Well, I'm going to do this thing where I touch, touch, 
heel, heel. All right, let's stand up, go to the forward. Ready? So it's knee, knee, heel, heel. You're doing the just, yeah. Excellent. Daniel is just on the version of the knees up, marching. I'm gonna knee, knee, heel, heel, knee, knee, heel, heel. Keep it up at home. Do what you can. Knee, knee, heel, heel, knee, knee, heel, heel. Keep it up. Keep breathing. Good job. Nice work. Keep going. Great job. Woo! That was a quick, good Mother's Day workout. Get your family together. Repeat it again if you want. Have a great day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you.